Uh, as we look at the long-term data, one, we're able to reaffirm that the primary endpoints which we sought uh, you know, remain to be there. In terms of improvements in symptoms, improvements in splenomegaly, we initially see that over 50% of the patients remain on the active study drug, which is really noteworthy. The life expectancy of the patients enrolling in the study was probably three years or less. The fact that over half of the patients remain on the study you know, further demonstrates a significant survival benefit. In terms of the analysis, we're able to see that there uh, is a clear survival advantage for patients with ruxolitinib compared to the control arm. Now, it's noteworthy that the control arm initially was on placebo, but by 81 weeks, everyone had crossed over to ruxolitinib. So it's really ruxolitinib versus delayed ruxolitinib, uh, and even still, we see a strong survival advantage. Finally, we look at long-term issues of safety, and we're able to reaffirm that there's no unexpected long-term toxicities, even all through five years.